What's going on, guys? I'm Joshua. And my name is Crystal from Pacific Coast Television, and you're watching What's Hot Half Moon Bay. The show that talks about the current events in Half Moon Bay. But today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about how to create an infographic. What's an infographic, Crystal? It's a great question, Josh. An infographic is a representation of information in a graphic format designed to make the data easily understandable just at a glance. It can be pictures, drawings, or even paintings, mm -hmm. along with the text to convey a message. Josh, can you start us off by telling us the first step in how to create an infographic? Yes, I can. You're gonna wanna first choose the right dimensions for your design. To, to just start it off, choose the design type from the website that you are using. These are the set of optimal dimensions for each graphic. Whether you know it's a social media post you're creating or a flyer that you're creating, or even more than that, you also wanna pick the dimensions of the space that you are working in. So here's an example of what I mean. Like if let's say you and me, we're talking about you know television, yeah. the mm -hmm. ratio is like 16 wide, to nine to nine tall or mm -hmm. we're talking about high definition it's 1920 by 1080 pixels so yeah. Krista, can you take us into the next step of course josh <laughs> the next step mm -hmm. is going to be you're going to want to choose a background design different colors tell different stories uh colors and designs have distinguished meanings which are necessary to be more appealing to your audience you kind of want to aim for harmonious and complementary colors, uh, such as purple and yellow. They instantly bring energy and life to your design. Green and red make positive emotions stronger and negative emotions weaker. Uh, for example, a Christmas tree, you know, it has red and green. And during Christmas time, it makes you feel more excited and more positive. But going into the next step, it's it's going to be adding your elements. Josh, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yes, I can, Crystal. So the third step is, you know, you this is very important. Choose adding your elements in. So what that basically means is, you know, your elements, you, your your design might include the elements of, you know, you got text, you got icons, you got photos, you got illustrations. So the thing about all these elements is that they they all need to combine in such a way where that, that it's, it's visually appealing to the audience. It's like a team thing. You, yeah. But you don't want to be in a situation where your texts that you create are so big that it's yeah. overpowering your infograph. Like, what the hell? No, definitely, definitely. And you don't want to be in a situation where you create your texts are too small and your audience is kind of like looking like, what the hell is this? Like, I can't see yeah. it. And, but yeah. adding photos into your infograph really make it pop out. Like, whoa, yeah. it's like that's No, no, crazy. no, you're definitely right, Josh. Like, you're definitely right. But uh, you also want to make sure you choose the right fonts. Uh, mm -hmm. The font is a style of lettering. Uh, the look for your fonts have a huge impact on your design. Uh, the most common ones everyone knows are Times New Roman, which you use for writing letters, and uh, Courier New is for writing scripts. Uh, but the most popular ideal fonts for writing an infographic are Roboto, Effectica, and Arial. Uh, but also just don't be afraid to add your own style, a little razzle dazzle in your infographic <laughs> design to make it yeah. really stand out. Uh, now that we've explained the do's of how to create an effective infographic, uh, Josh, can you explain the don'ts of <laughs> <for the> infographics? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can. And one of the things you don't want to do is stuff your infographic with so much data and like yeah. so much data because then you want to keep it simple so your audience under is able to quickly is able to read the read what you did and be able yeah. to understand the concept quickly and qu and grasp it as quick as you can because you don't and and you want to also just stick with one topic. You don't want to stick with you don't want to have multiple topics going on. No, definitely, because then definitely. it's just going to be confusing for your audience. It's going to be like, yeah. what the heck? I'm like confused. What am I reading? Which topic are we talking about? And yeah. you know, this uh, yeah, just as this one, like, look, it, it doesn't have too much going on. You yeah. know, you you have Pacific Coast right there. You have the Half Moon Bay right there. You have the skater. And you have its visually stating uh, skate park right there and where to go. Um, no, definitely. Yeah, and like, I would say the most important thing out of this list, I would say is like, mm -hmm. you know, 
because you know infographics it's all about telling a story to the audience right so you want to try it with visual with visuals and text it's like you want to have that you want to find that balance between the two so then because they, they work together one can't do well without the other so yeah. you got to be able to it's all about finding that balance so then the reader is able to look at your infograph and be able to understand the story that you're trying to tell so it's about finding that balance that's the one of the most important things i would say that in this yeah yeah, no, I definitely agree with you. I feel like less is more, you know, because you don't want too much going on. <laughs> but uh, now that you guys know how to create an infographic, thanks to Pacific Coast Television and What's Hot Half Moon Bay, now you can make infographics just like this. And this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just want to thank all the viewers for tuning in to another great episode of What's Hot Half Moon Bay. Again, my name is Crystal. And my name is Joshua. And thanks for watching. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>